was amongst the first people, particularly after the Supreme Court accepting your election and affirming it as a president of the Republic of Kenya, we had to accept it as workers and to congratulate you. We did this considering that the fact that as workers we are guided by the ILO Convention number 144 on tripartism arrangements. This requires us to, consid to consult your government on daily basis and also all delegations of workers be it in Addis Ababa during the African Union Labor and Social Affairs Committee or Commission during those days this delegation is led by no other person but by your minister for labor uh, is the one who leads a such delegation our delegation to Geneva which is annual to attend the international labor conference is always led by the minister for labor representing Kenya government we as workers and employers we just automatically become part of government's delegation outside our boundaries so as workers if you would have said we are not recognizing you then you would have equally said you are not also recognizing us and that would have created a big rift in under tripartism arrangements as it is known locally and internationally we thank you and we echo your quick response in bringing us closer to your government. This is because uh, when we attained independence in 1963, was equally a person who did plant a sense of direction to our masses in an area of forgiveness and forgetting the past, forging ahead as a nation, you extended your hand not only to the workers but to so many political groupings in our republic and we can't take it for granted your excellency we want to thank you for that i want also to say something little about nssf your excellency you have guided us within the shortest possible time to make us realize that we wasted a lot of time on 200 shillings employers, 200 shillings workers, of which could not be able to assist any retiree after working for 40, 30, 60 years. We are part now and parcel of 6% and we know for sure that when we exit from what we are doing as employees, or members of various trade union organizations we will be able to benefit out of that in order to avoid the old age poverty <laughs> on national health insurance funds your excellency go to kenya equally thank you for appointing a new chairman and a board of the national health insurance fund your excellency some of us may know engineer kamau personally so a man of no nonsense and we are sure he will have to lead that board into new reforms and make sure that nhif uh, 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 is closer to its mandate and it works and to, to assist kenyans of all shades and also to assist you on your universal health care as enshrined into our constitution nhif currently requires it is in dire need of transformation because of the changing pattern and so many different diseases that are facing our workers everywhere including cancer which is so much prevalent in our republic on an area of climate change your excellency i want to thank you you took it upon yourself you went to sham el sheikh in egypt to be part of the global community in advocating and uh, finding ways as per how as a nation we can be able to mitigate the climate change which is caused by global warming and you went further your excellency to make sure that as we had a four-year drought 
you had to seek for spiritual guidance when you invited church leaders, pastors, and other uh, church uh, um, both uh, Muslims and Christians at State House to pray for what we are seeing now. It would have been with us right now here, but I promised you it can't rain until after your speech because I come from an area of people who control rain in Western Kenya. Your Excellence also last year in November while addressing the ITUC Congress in Melbourne, Australia, I lauded your government for its initiative towards disability inclusion. At this juncture, Your Excellency, I would kindly like to, uh, I would kindly request you to ensure that workers are represented on the governance board of the National Council for Persons with Disability, because disability is with us, and we must also champion the aspirations of the people living with disabilities, so that they can be part and part of our com working community. An area that uh, John Sosakaja, our governor, touched on in an, in an area of uh, the security guys and the security companies we have, I want to say this, Your Excellency. As workers, we have written to you and remain grateful for your positive response towards ensuring that mechanization, the agricultural sector, and the outsourcing of labor are stopped. In every country, Your Excellency, the governments are concerned about their people, their working people. Kindly, Your Excellency, close your ears and don't listen to those who say outsourcing, if it is outlawed, will deal a major blow to the way of doing businesses. This is a total lie because many countries have outlawed, have outlawed it because it amounts to indirect slavery. And the ILO we have said, we have, we have, we have said that if you outsource, those people outsourced working on your premises remains your responsibility. And you must accept them to have a free and independent negotiations of their CBA. Father, Your Excellency, outsourced labor does not feature anywhere in our revenue collection books, nor do they contribute to the NSSF and NHIF. Let your government take action because most of these outsourced people are paid in cash. A good example, 